The word transformed in the New Testament makes for a very interesting study. The Apostle Paul wrote at Romans 12 verses 1 to 2. I appeal to you therefore brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. The root Greek word translated as transformed is metamorpho. We have an English word similar to this, metamorphosis. In English this word means a marked change in appearance, character, condition, or function. The most well-known example of metamorphosis is the change of a caterpillar into a butterfly. After the caterpillar creates a cocoon around itself, undergoes change, and eventually emerges as a winged insect that can fly, it does not become another creature. It is still the very same creature after emerging as it was before. There are, however, significant differences, such that we have a difficult time imagining that the beautiful butterfly was once an insignificant worm. In the New Testament, followers of Christ are expected to also undergo a metamorphosis. In fact, this transformation is the natural result of true belief and repentance. John the Baptist, Messiah's forerunner, preached a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. Luke 3 verse 3. But simply repenting and being baptized was not the end of John's message. He also preached, bear fruits in keeping with repentance. Luke 3 verse 8. We see then, that true repentance causes a change in one's life that will continue to be evident long after. After all, Jesus did say, for no good tree bears bad fruit, nor again does a bad tree bear good fruit, for each tree is known by its own fruit. For figs are not gathered from thorn bushes, nor are grapes picked from a bramble bush. The good person out of the good treasure of his heart produces good, and the evil person out of his evil treasure produces evil. For out of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaks. Luke 6 verses 43 to 45. The Apostle Peter, writing concerning false prophets and false teachers amongst the congregation, said this of their false message. For speaking loud boasts of folly, they entice by sensual passions of the flesh those who are barely escaping from those who live in error. They promise them freedom, but they themselves are slaves of corruption. For whatever overcomes a person, to that he is enslaved. For if, after they have escaped the defilements of the world through the knowledge of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, they are again entangled in them and overcome, the last state has become worse for them than the first. 2 Peter 2 verses 18-20 The need for transformation goes beyond a mere need to just be different. Belief in Christ, repentance, and baptism are the evidences of a desire for freedom. The Apostle Paul wrote, Do you not know that if you present yourselves to anyone as obedient slaves, you are slaves of the one whom you obey, either of sin, which leads to death, or of obedience, which leads to righteousness? Romans 6 verse 16 Regarding the things that will naturally change after true belief and repentance, Paul wrote, Put to death therefore what is earthly in you, sexual immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry. On account of these the wrath of God is coming. In these you too once walked, when you were living in them. But now you must put them all away. Anger, wrath, malice, slander, and obscene talk from your mouth. Do not lie to one another, seeing that you have put off the old self with its practices and have put on the new self which is being renewed in knowledge after the image of its creator. Colossians 3 verses 5 to 10. Finally, the transformation, or metamorphosis, of ourselves involves a renewing of our minds, Romans 12 verse 2, which will create a consequential change in our actions and behavior. Although the task seems difficult at first, there is glory to be had if we endure. If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ who is your life appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Colossians 3 verses 1-4